it's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. In this video what I'm going to do is show you how to apply VLANs to a TP-Link switch using a MADA controller. Um, in this case we've got a 48 port switch, you can see the model number there, um, and we've got the MADA controller which we're running on a server. You can also obviously run that on a local device or on a computer etc, whatever you need to use. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to go down to settings, uh, click on settings, and then we'll go to wired networks and then to LAN. Um, and this is where we need to add our VLANs. I'll just say that we are using a third party router in this scenario, so there is no Amada gateway, it's just a, a third party router. So we'll create the LAN, um, and then this is where we're putting our VLANs. We haven't got the gateway as we just discussed, so we're going to be using a VLAN only. So it's very simple. Let's create one that you know you might see in a typical business environment. Um, so Wi-Fi on VLAN 10 and uh, that's that saved. Okay, so the, all the only information we really need there is the VLAN name and the, ID, and the VLAN ID because that's coming, this one's coming from the router, whichever router you're using or gateway you're using. Okay, and then we'll go for another one. Let's just create VoIP, for example, and create as a VLAN. Uh, we're gonna put that as 12. And um, we'll put on IGMP, uh, IGMP uh, snooping there. That's completely up to you whether you want to put that on. And there's a little bit of information about what that does there if you're not sure. Um, and then just press save on that. So now we've got a fairly sort of typical um, setup for uh, for an office or a small office environment. Um, not, uh, not massively complicated, but it just helps me explain what we need to do next. So we've created the VLANs, we've got the IDs, those are being pulled through from the, the gateway or the router. Um, and then we're gonna go to profiles. So we've, we've got the VLANs in, we need to create the port profiles. Now every time we create one of those VLANs, it does automatically create a profile, and that's a pretty simple profile. All it does is it just gives the same name and then it untags that network. Um, so with the native network as, as VoIP and it's untagged, obviously, so that's it. Um, if you want to do something a little bit more complicated, say, for example, we've got, uh, we want our user to be able to plug in their um, computer and just use it straight away with a computer, but they also want have the ability on any port to, or any of these ports, to be able to plug in a VoIP phone uh, and that VoIP phone will tag that traffic. So uh, they can use either of these. So what we need to do is create a profile for that. So if we just call this an edge port, um, and we're going to say, right, uh, I want that native network to be LAN, so we'll leave that as that, and that's going to be the untagged network. And then we're going to tag the VoIP in that network. And then also we can tell it that the VoIP is the voice network. Press save. Uh, and now we've got that new edge port profile. So this is obviously, uh, you know, going to be as complicated as your network and as complicated as your requirements. So uh, it's fairly simple here, but I just want to show you the, how things work. So next we'll go to, once you've created the, we've created the VLAN, we've created the port profile, and now we're going to go to switch settings to apply that. So you can just click, click on edit and get into the switch this way and start to apply it. The other way you can get into this, if I just show you, is if you're in devices here, you can just click on that switch and the same thing pops up. For those of you who worked with Ubiquiti, Ubiquiti before, this will feel very familiar because it's almost identical in its layout. So um, next you just select a port. So for example, we've selected port two here. Um, we might just call this edge port, edge port one. Um, and we're going to say, right, this has got the profile of edge port. And that's it, you just apply that port, uh, you apply that uh, to the port, and then that port is ready to go. If you get to, say we go to port three, and we, I don't know what the requirement could be, but uh, let's say we've got storage, uh, or network storage, let's say network storage, and we realize we haven't created a profile, or we haven't created uh, a VLAN for it, we can just click on manage profiles and it takes us back to this page so you can quickly select between them and create the, create the VLAN that you need to, um, or, the, um, or the profile you need to. So we go back to port three, um, like I said, you can just do whatever you want with that and just add the profile as, as required. So once you've done that, you've obviously on this 48 port switch, which is actually, um, 52 because it's got um, SFPs as well. But once once you've done that, you can create a lot of profiles on there here. Um, and as you might see that I've created some um, lag profiles here, we've got a video on that. I'll just put the card up in there, in the corner there. 
Um, but there's lots of profiles that you can, uh, obviously lots of switches you can apply that to. So once you've done all that, you need to go to config and then you need to go down to VLAN interface and you just need to make sure that those VLANs are enabled on the switch. So you just tick them across and then press apply. Um, you'll notice this little symbol here that just that signifies that the LAN is being used for the management VLAN. I'm not going to go too in too much detail into the management VLAN at the moment. This can be changed. You just have to be a little bit careful because you might end up losing that device uh, in terms of visibility on the controller. So uh, we'll get into that into another video. But basically, that's it. That's how you add uh, profiles to a TP-Link switch from uh, the um, using Amada. If you've got any questions, please do put them in the comments and uh, please subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye.